I think it is extremely disturbing to see the lack of professionalism, the lack of grounding, and the abuse of public resources and abuse of, of public power in order to pursue something that truly, uh, whose point at this juncture is very unclear. This whole thing really has been a tremendous waste of our legislative time and the people's resources. I cannot believe that they have found a new low. It is so embarrassing to sit in the room for an hour while they try to weave conspiracy theory after conspiracy theory that only embarrasses them further. It's very clear that there's no there there. Democrats on the Oversight Committee uh, reacting to yesterday's closed door deposition by Hunter Biden, who struck a defiant and emotional tone during his testimony as part of the GOP-led impeachment inquiry into his father, President Biden. Hunter condemned the investigation as a partisan political pursuit that was based on a false premise and fueled by lies and reiterated his stance that he never involved his father in any of his business dealings, while also acknowledging mistakes he had made, pointing to his battle with addiction. We're told during the nearly seven hour long closed door deposition, there were what's being described as heated moments between Republicans and Democrats regarding interruptions during lines of questioning. After his testimony, Hunter said his deposition went great. So far, Republicans have yet to turn up any evidence in their impeachment investigation. Joining us now, congressional investigations reporter for The Washington Post, Jackie Alemany, and senior political columnist for Politico, Jonathan Martin. Good to have you both with us this morning. Jackie, I'll start with you. Um, is there anything that Republicans came up with of substance? Um, and at what point are people going to say this is uh, taking away from other incredibly important issues of our time, like foreign aid and government shutdowns and actual real needs of the American people. Yeah, Mika, well, I think if anything, Republicans are going to have to reckon with the fact that I've been told by several sources who were in the room for that extended hearing yesterday that Hunter Biden happened to be one of the most prepared, disciplined, uh, and on message witnesses that they've had appear before the committee yet, who spoke very eloquently about a broad swath of evidence, some of it unsubstantiated, some of it, uh, you know, presented in, in sort of dribs and drabs, contextless uh, text messages and communications that James Comer and Republicans have cherry picked from the mountain of records that they have obtained so far, and that there has been still no there there. For anyone who thought this was going to be the smoking gun, the star witness, uh, it's certainly disappointed. And Hunter Biden instead spoke of a lot of instances that Republicans have pointed to as wrongdoing as examples of him under the spell of addiction, being drunk or high at the time of those communications and uh, quite frankly, as someone in the room told me in a readout, that he was lying about some of the, the times where he said his father was present to certain business people, uh, like this one text messages that has often been referenced where he was in communications with uh, a, a Chinese associate that he was doing business with and texted him in a WhatsApp message that he was with his father right now. He said during that, that deposition that that was actually a lie and that he was under the influence I think this all goes back to the the really bigger story about Hunter Biden right now, which is that uh, he is determined to stay sober and has viewed this as key to his father's reelection and as key to, to batting down these accusations, all of which so far are unsubstantiated, that his father was directly involved with any of his business dealings with foreign associates. So, Jackie, you would think after a series of humiliating setbacks for this committee, the latest being the arrest of Mr. Smirnoff, who at one time was a star witness that the FBI and Justice Department now say was making everything up, claims of bribes that Joe Biden received that he did not receive. You'd think this committee might walk away, but Chairman Comer made it clear that his self-described smoke but no fire yet investigation, he said, well, we heard some contradictory things in Hunter Biden's testimony that need further review, suggesting we're just going to kind of keep this ball in the air with insinuations and suggestions, but no evidence that there was wrongdoing here. Is that the goal here, just to keep this alive through the election? 
That is really a typical Comerian tactic to continue to muddy the waters and lob allegations across cable news and conservative media that have been proven unsubstantiated time and time again. I, I imagine we are going to continue to see that, but perhaps to a lesser extent. I mean, even Fox News has quieted on so several fronts of covering some of the accusations Comer's been making, and he has been facing criticism from his colleagues who have not been happy with his his media process centric approach where he has put forward again this contextless cherry picked evidence gone and spoken about it and then the evidence has when you've looked into it a little bit further fallen quite flat but fortunately for him we're all going to be turning to the senate impeachment trial uh, which is a, a whole other discussion in terms of whether or not that is a substantiated uh, those are su substantiated articles of impeachment against Alejandro Mayorkas but it's certainly some counter programming to give a to give Comer and the House Oversight and Judiciary Committee a bit of cover uh, from an investigation that, that in its totality so far has been a failure.